Hello there, my Saggies. I'm Annette, your little Christmas mouth. <laughs> this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm here to do your general love reading from now through the end of December 2019. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell on the side. And feel free to follow me over on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. If you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below in the description box. This is a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Not all of the messages are going to be for every single person watching, so please keep an open mind. Remember that the future is never, ever set in stone. Um, we are working with divine spiritual energy here. And um, the stories and the energy can be flipped around and reversed, okay? So sit back, enjoy, take in whatever messages um, are for you, and feel free to check out the other videos that make up your natal chart. You might get some other messages from those other videos. All right, and don't forget I go live twice weekly, Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time, and Friday evenings, usually around 6 p.m. Central Time. All right, so this is a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Let's see what's going on in love for my beautiful Saggies. All right. So in your overall energy, you've got the gate. A barrier keeps you from your goal. There's some type of obstacle or blockage in your way. This could be... A spiritual blockage, a mental blockage, your heart chakra being blocked, a physical obstacle. Like we might literally have somebody blocked online, on the phone. But there's some type of an obstacle here that's keeping you from your goal. Um, some type of devil energy. Get out of your own way, Saggy. You can overcome. Let's see what else Spirit wants to share with my Saggies in love, please. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp, please, Spirit. Someone might be blocking out some nonsense. Some, some sneaky devil behavior. Let's see what else is going on here. All right, so off the bottom of the deck, you have the hermit Virgo energy going within, taking some time away. Spending time alone in solitude. This person's a wise sage, an old soul. Going within, gazing at that star held within their lantern. Looking for the light within. Someone's very, very single. They've been man-caving. They're kind of closed off right now. Spending time alone, isolating themselves. What else is going on here? Two of Pentacles. Trying to balance, make a head over heart decision. Balancing, um, so you might have been juggling two people. Um, but this is uh, someone who is gracefully keeping everything going. The waters are calm and there's a ship in the harbor there. Balancing. Somebody's doing a balancing, trying to balance themselves. Trying to balance their emotions. There's a full moon in the background here. We just had that 1212 Gemini full moon uh, portal a couple days ago. Five of Pentacles, poverty consciousness, feelings of lack, the return of a long lost love or a past life soulmate, someone who is disconnected with, with uh, their spirituality, feelings of lack. Up and down, back and forth. There's seven pentacles here all, all together. That's divine timing. They've been taking their time. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold, isolated, 
left out, blocked off. So you might have been juggling more than one person. Has the other one blocked? Leaving someone feeling isolated and left out. Left out of the party. Because you do have the Seder in the bottom of the fortune deck, revelry and indulgence, devil energy. Smee feels left out of the party. Blocked. Isolated. Left him feeling out in the cold, insecure. Somebody's trying to balance out a situation here, I feel. What else for Sag? A lot of earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with someone with a lot of earth in their chart. High Priestess, she's the moon goddess, Cancer, Pisces energy. You already know. These two are each other's counterparts. They're both spiritual. They're both single, except she's, she's feminine energy, very beautiful, gorgeous, sexy, spiritual, intuitive. Someone's intuition might have been blocked. They might have been overindulging, mixing drugs and alcohol, and uh, they're broke now. This person is spiritually broke, morally broke. They lack morals. They lack spirituality because the high priestess here has a direct line to the other side. This hermit is very spiritual to a wise old soul, sage. This person might be a, an intuitive psychic medium, wise old sage, and they feel left out because people might think that they're like uptight, religious, or something which really isn't true. They're spiritual, not religious. Um, but somebody's isolating themselves. Somebody's going deep within. They're both spending time in prayer and meditation here. But this is also making a recovery and return of what was lost. On the bottom, you've got the Four of Swords. Again, spending time in prayer and meditation. After going through a heartbreaking, disappointing situation, grieving, grieving a loss, but they're about to pick up that sword and go back into battle. There's going to be communication they're planning their next move. They're planning how to unblock themselves. Their heart chakra was blocked off. Okay. Underneath the Four of Swords, you've got the Devil, which we already saw. Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Somebody is cutting off this nonsense, cutting off a karmic toxic situation. They are going to work like the Devil. They know what they want. This person's in a position of authority, this King of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Laying down the law, this person may have worked in the military or uh, law enforcement, doctor, an attorney. This may have been working on themselves, possibly getting counseling to overcome substance abuse issues and to heal because there was some type of trauma. And there's going to be communication. They're planning their next move. And they, they want to work really hard. It could be happening during Capricorn season. There may be a Capricorn involved here. Somebody's, uh, this, this person's a mastermind. Plotting, planning, strategizing. His plan may have backfired on him. And now he's working on another plan to heal the situation here. You've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom. This is a renewal, blessing, outpouring of emotion. Someone who's gone through a spiritual awakening. Unspoken love. New love. Reconciliation and healing. Got some eclipses coming up here December and January. It's going to open up someone. Their intuition's going to open up. They have a direct line with spirit. Okay. Someone's keeping quiet and they already know. Okay. 
There's also a lot of lust for this high priestess. The high priestess in a man's love reading represents a woman that he worships and puts on a pedestal. She's the goddess Diana, Diana the goddess Artemis, the moon goddess. Um, she's mysterious. She's aligned to mind, body, and spirit. And uh, he feels like he can't have her. He's very passionate for her. It's his dream girl. It's a lot of lust here, passion. She's single. The hermit is single too. Our high priestess is sequestering herself, going within. She knows what's happening and she's not saying anything. She's, they're going within and seeking out the answers. The answers are coming from within. Let's clarify these matrix for you. Why is the gate here? A barrier keeps you from, from your goal. What's this barrier, this blockage? For my Sagis, please, Spirit. Fool. This is taking that leap of faith, being vulnerable. It's the beginning, a new beginning, beginning of, a, of this journey. Somebody's path has been blocked. Somebody was being very foolish and naive, possibly overindulging. It's Aquarius energy here. Someone might have gotten literally locked out of the house, naked, left outside in their undies. This guy's dangling is hanging out. <laughs> Feeling, feeling vulnerable, naked, you know, but they're blocking themselves from their, their true path. Why is the fool here with the gate? Page of Swords. Gossip, spying. Somebody's blocking out some gossip they they think this person's a fool and they know damn well what's happening and they're blocking that person out they're no fool but this is very young young naive energy here could be dealing with kids air energy aquarius gemini libra there's going to be some uh immature communication here and now somebody feels like a fool and they're blocked why is the hermit here this wise old sage. The world. Completing a cycle. Successfully learning all of your karmic lessons. Ending this being alone, isolated. Coming out of isolation here. Coming out into the world again. Learning all of those lessons and being wiser for it. And here's your new beginning, your Ace of Cups, new beginning of love and abundance. Why is the world here with the Hermit? Yeah, Five of Wands. They're separate. There's been a lot of drama, chaos, conflict, insecurity. Feelings, you know, just naked, worried about what everybody else thinks. And somebody's putting an end to that. They're learning not to care what the world thinks about what, what, and you know, like I said, they've been isolating themselves from the world because of, there's been a lot of insecurity here, vulnerability, but knowing that you are complete in, in yourself, you don't, you don't, doesn't matter what other people think. You are complete. You are complete. Why is the high priestess here? Hanged man, Pisces energy. Spiritual awakening, putting putting things on hold while someone is looking at everything from another perspective. Somebody's looking at this high priestess from a whole nother angle. Looking at the whole situation from a whole nother perspective and trusting their intuition, gaining enlightenment, clarity. They're going to have to sacrifice something. 
somebody, th these two are very spiritual and having to sacrifice, knowing that they have to sacrifice something so that something better can come in and to trust. What is the hanged man here? The high priestess has someone hung by their cojones here. She knows what's going on. And somebody feels like a fool here. She sees right through. She, she's the secret keeper. It's the emperor gaining control. Someone might be using the silent treatment to gain control over a situation. Now they, they have to let go of that because it's not serving them. The emperor is large and in charge. Someone may, these people might be light workers and may have an online business. So this is a business owner, CEO. Intuitive, psychic mediums, spiritual gurus, running an empire together. This is a power couple coming, coming together here. So he might have been manipulative, controlling, and narcissistic. They wanted it their way or the highway. And now somebody is turning, turning her back on that person. She sees right through their crap, and she's not saying anything because she knows that this person is going to wake up here and gain some enlightenment. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, somebody's coming in now with a slow offer. Coming in like a divine masculine. Very spiritual. Where they were lacking, where they had spiritual lack, they've recovered that. They've gone within, spent time in prayer and meditation, trusting their intuition. This is a father, husband. Somebody's coming in with a slow offer here with the Knight of Pentacles. He's the slowest moving knight, but when he shows up with his offer in hand, all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed. You can trust this offer. It's just taken a long, long time. Someone's been keeping things on hold, trying to control, and it ended up, back, it ended up backfiring on them. And now he's cutting himself down. Cutting himself down. Now he's clear. Now he knows what he wants. So he's been... Uh, Plotting, planning, and strategizing here. And it ended up, their little plan ended up blowing up in their face. Now they got to come in and make this real. Yeah, there's been some deception, avoidant behavior, sneakiness, shadiness. Seven of Swords clarifying the devil. Hiding stuff. There's three other women buried underneath all those swords. Hiding stuff. So they might have been playing around with multiple people and nobody nobody knew. There's like three other people and nobody knew that they were all getting played. Somebody was being a mastermind here, a manipulator, controller. They're avoiding dealing with some past uh, baggage because you've got the four of swords here with the three on the wall. They were avoiding dealing with their toxic shit and their baggage here from past relationships that they've kept buried. But somebody's been working on themselves, possibly getting counseling here. Now they want to come in and work on it. They want a new beginning here. And there's going to be an apology coming in. All right. Get an advice message from my Saggies, please, Spirit. Thank you. Word of advice for Sag. Thank you. All right, so your advice from Spirit is celebration. Um, this is celebrating spiritual growth and development. Butterflies represent metamorphosis, change, and growth. Okay, but there may have been a little bit of overindulging, celebrating, too much drinking, partying, other drama going on. Somebody's growing up and celebrating. Celebrating this journey that they've been on. Because you've got the world and you've got the fool here. 
They've, uh, they took a leap of faith on this journey, closing the gate to the past, and now it's time for a fresh start. Okay? Alpha and Omega and everything that happened in between. We've been seeing the world show up in readings a lot lately. We're wrapping up a cycle in our lives and about to begin a new one. We're about to begin a new decade. And you're not taking any of this old crap into the next decade. Somebody's growing up, maturing, and evolving. Beautiful energy here. Their partying days are done. Now they're ready to settle, settle down to brass tacks here and grow up. This is the next phase of their journey. A new journey is about to begin. Let's get two love messages for my Saggies. Closed gate. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. They're closing the gate to the past. You've got that twice. You're like, okay, out with the old, covering up my eyes, I'm going to take that leap of faith, locked out of the house, I don't have any clothes on. This person is just starting out with from scratch with nothing again, and they're not going back to the past anymore, no more going back to that past. What else? Wishes. Wishes are dreams we can manifest. What is your wish? Someone's dreams are about to come true here. Wishes. Manifesting. It's starting to happen. Okay, and you've got a really close bond. The bond between you creates a special understanding. You and me. It's just you and me, kid. Just you and me, kid. There's a very strong bond here. Beautiful energy, Saggies. All right, until I see you again, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Um, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.